Hi, I'm Angie, and today I'm doing a quick review of my new coffee bean grinder. It's the Cuisinart Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill Grinder. I was very excited to get it because I usually grind my own beans in the grocery store, and I realized that it would be even fresher if I could do it at home. I didn't want a combination coffee maker grinder, so I waited until this standalone Cuisinart model went on sale. When I got it home and took it out of the box, I was a little surprised how small it was. I thought it would be more like the size of a coffee maker because it does hold half a pound of beans, so I imagined that it would be bigger. But it's quite compact and it fits nicely on the counter. After I did a little research, I discovered it was preferable to grind coffee using a burr grinder, which has sort of like a gear grinder in it rather than a blade grinder. Previously, I had this little tiny brawn model and that actually does have a blade grinder in there so it just kind of cuts up the beans rather than grinding them. So apparently you get better flavor and a better grind by using the burr grinder. Also the problem with this one is that it's a very small capacity so you only get you know a, a little bit of the coffee grounds in here. If you want to make a big pot then you have to use it multiple times. So this one I actually used for spices which is very handy and I had another one that was dedicated just to the coffee beans. With the burr grinder, it's not recommended to do any other grinding like nuts or spices. It's very simple to operate. All you do is take your coffee beans, and they smell so good when you have them whole in the bag. And you just remove the cover, and you fill up the hopper area with the beans. I only like to grind the amount that I'm gonna use so I don't want to store too many beans in there because it's actually better to store your beans in the fridge. So you replace the lid and it's got a grind selector here so you can go from coarse to fine depending on what type of coffee maker you're going to use. So if you have like a French press then you want to have coarser grind. If you're using an espresso machine then you would have a finer grind. I'm using an automatic drip coffee maker so I'll have it right in the middle at medium. And then you can also set how many cups of coffee you're planning to make and it will automatically grind that amount of beans and then you're only grinding what you're going to use. So for instance, if I'm going to make eight cups of coffee, then I set it to eight and once I press start, it will automatically grind just the right amount of these beans to equal the ground coffee in the little canister at the bottom. I find that the grinder works very well and I just love the aroma. I actually do grind them the night before because I like to set the timer on my coffee maker. But I find still that the coffee is much fresher, very smooth, and of course the aroma is just fabulous. So once you press the start button and grind your beans, then, then the ground coffee comes through a little hole in the back of the machine and fills up the canister depending on how many cups you've said you want to grind. And the only thing I don't like is that it's very staticky. So when you get the little bit of fine grind around the lid and around the edge, it kind of jumps out of the little container and gets on your clothing and gets on your counter. So that's the only downside. And then once you've scooped out your coffee, then you can just slide this back in and get it ready for the next time. And the coffee mill came with a little pre-measured scoop and a little brush, which helps to clean out the to between where the beans are and where they come out. So in order to show you the machine working, I have to change locations here so I can reach the plug. It's got kind of a short cord and what's nice is that you can store it by wrapping it around the base of the coffee grinder. One other thing to note about the coffee grinder is it's a little bit loud, so you probably wouldn't want to grind beans while people are sleeping. So maybe not first thing in the morning until everybody's awake or the doors are closed. Because as you'll see, it's a little noisy. So I'm just going to press start and it will automatically grind the beans until it reaches the eight cup level that I need. But I won't let you hear the whole thing. I'm just going to let you hear how loud it is to start. Here we go. And that's it. It takes under a minute to grind eight to 12 cups of coffee worth of beans. And it already smells good. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the staticky jumping, but I'll pull it out and show you the grind. You can see a few of them floating out onto my hand. 
onto the counter, but that's a minor problem. And there you can see the grind. I wish you could smell it because it's just awesome. I just love the smell of the freshly ground coffee. So that's it. I just wanted to show you in case you're interested in getting a coffee grinder. I really enjoy the Cuisinart Burnwell coffee grinder and so far so good. I hope it lasts because I really do like it. And it looks very cute sitting on the counter. I enjoyed my fresh coffee beans from the grocery store and now I like them even better that I can grind them at home. Thanks for watching and if you want more information you can go to my blog at overthekitchencounter.com.